all right good day guys and welcome to another smc tutorial video all right so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the banana gun sniper bot all right so banana gun is a telegram sniper bot that is built on ethereum and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to interact and you know get familiar with um the sniper bot all right so um we're going to head over to the, the the bot account right and then you have to make sure that this is the username banana gun sniper underscore bot and then we click start right so there are two things that you have to do before you start sniping with this bot and the first thing is registering your account through the registration bot and also verifying your cell bot right so we head over to the registration bot we click start this is where we are going to um create our wallet we create wallet and i'm going to name this wallet um let's say smc tutors right our wallet has been created and after doing this we are going to head over to the cell bot right here and then we're going to click start and then if you're a new user you click verify and then click start again and you should see a menu like this you should see something like similar to this this means that you verified your cell bot so after doing these two things we're going to head over to you know the the, the original bot account and we're going to click start again and boom our panel should come up right so we are going to be focusing on two things two major things in this video right and it's the auto sniper and the manual buyer right so yeah we'll also be talking about the cell bot but these are like the two major things right so auto sniper right so this is a snipe method that is used when a token doesn't have liquidity yet right this is the snipe method that you use when you want to buy into um, a fair launch or you want to buy into a stealth launch or maybe you missed out on a pre-sale and you want to buy into that pre-sale immediately um you know they add liquidity to it right so what auto snipe does is that it tries to you know um buy on the first block on the first transaction block of that particular project right so it tries to buy on the same block that liquidity was added right so um what this basically means is that it just pushes you to be one of the first wallet to you know get into that particular project when liquidity has been added right so here i'm just going to you know paste a contract this is on um, the contract of the token that we want to snipe and then this is the fastest way to you know run your snipe right um 0 0.1 this is the amount of ethereum like the maximum amount of ethereum that this transaction should take um and then you use slash your tip let me use 0 0.018 and then the number of wallets that you want to run this snipe with right so you guys might be asking what a tip is right a tip is kind of like a bribe that you pay to um ethereum miners so that they can you know um hasten your transaction or approve your transaction quickly right so once we use this let's go over it again the amount of ethereum or the maximum amount of ethereum that you want this transaction to take um your tip and then your the, the number of wallets that you want to run this snipe with right so after doing this you should get this menu right here the name of this token is gabo you can see the contract address and you can see that the status is pending right so um there is something that you need to you know take note of here and this is first bundle or fill right so this is um, a very very important aspect of you know the banana gun sniper bot right and this can only be you know activated or put into place when there are more than 10 wallets that are trying to snipe this a particular project or this particular project right so what is what um first bundle or field does is that like the first bundle tries to you know get you in on the first block on the first transaction block which is usually block zero but one thing i need to understand is that if it is a dead block launch or an mev launch first bundle will fail right so now what is um a dead block launch you might be asking what's the dead block launch a dead block launch is the type of launch whereby you know the first um transactions are sent to um the dead wallet or to the to the bone wallet right so this basically means that any transaction made on that block or any token bought on that block will be sent directly to the dead wallet right so if a project has that type of mechanism right they usually do it um because of bots if a project has that type of mechanism first bundle will fail right it would fail and then that's where your backup comes in so right this is how to activate first bundle of fail you activate first bundle of fail and then just in case they activate you know or they use a dead block launch kind of thing right or type of method 
you can now activate the first bundle backup right so this backup gets you into the project after you know um all the dead blocks have been cleared so it gets you on or it buys on the next available block or it performs the transaction on the next available live block right so that's basically how this works and remember it only now you should only do this when there are over 10 wallets um participating in that launch that's when you should activate first bundle or fail and remember if it is a dead block launch or an mev launch it won't go through right that's where the backup comes in so you can see that your slippage is unlimited you can see that you have anti-rog here um you can activate anti-rog this is like for when there are suspicious transactions going on um with that particular project it can just sell immediately and then transfer on blacklist right so this is a very very um this is a very very interesting feature right this enables um but the banana gun sniper but to transfer tokens in the case of snipers being blacklisted right so if a sniper bot has been blacklisted or let's say i snipe a token now and then the dev has set up a function in the contract that are uh, okay um 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 snipers right here yeah, people that have bots with sniper bots have, will be blacklisted what banana gun is going to do is that it's going to actually buy and then transfer the token to another wallet where i can sell right so now another thing you can activate is dj mode dj mode is for when you have um let's say you have access to a contract early and you know maybe the the developer has set the sell tax at 99 percent right ideally a bot will not buy into that contract for you right but once you activate dj mode it will buy into that contract no matter the um slippage right because since you've gotten access to that project that early and you're sure that they're going to reduce the tax in the long run you can activate dj mode and then you know um you, you when you activate dj mode it would actually snipe that particular project without issues right so even if the sell tax is 99 percent 100 percent or whatever right it would still snipe right it would still snipe the, the the only risk involved is you knowing if that project is actually safe or not right so we have max tx or revert right this is activated or this should be activated when you don't want you know the max transaction to go over your maximum spend of ethereum right so let's say um two percent is the max transaction of that um, particular project and then that two percent is over your max spend right max tx or revert will just revert the transaction right so you can head over to snipe settings for extra settings you can choose your snipe amount this is for when you want to edit the snipe right you can choose your snipe amount your snipe tip your backup tip your wallet you can approve the gui right and you can you know you can choose approve gui sell gui um anti rog gui mempool gui limit but you can choose your buy tax limit sell tax limit minimum liquidity limit maximum liquidity minute and so on and so forth right so this is basically how to you know use um the the auto snipe right the auto snipe so let's um go over to um um the manual buyer right and you know that once you've set up you know your auto snipe whenever liquidity is added your snipe would go through right so let's head over to manual buyer right so let's look for let's paste in the same address right so we're having a similar menu right kind of uh, menu that is kind of similar right so you can see that we only have one wallet here you can see that GUI is at 15 right and you can see that um our ethereum you can see the, like the buy options for ethereum right so this manual buy is for when a project is already live and then you just want to like buy into that project directly you just want to buy into it immediately with your sniper board right the project is already live it's already trading this is how you know you buy into it right so you can choose the amount of ethereum that you want to enter it right if your option isn't here you can choose to buy a particular amount of ethereum or you can choose to buy the max um transaction of that particular token you should activate anti-rog transform blacklist like i said before this is um, for when snipers are being blacklisted so you can transfer it to another wallet and sell from there you can choose to edit your gui right you can choose to change it to like 30 yeah so you can choose to change it to, to, to 30 this is just um okay for those that uh, that don't know like gui is like a smaller unit 
uh, of measurement for um ethereum right it's a smaller unit of measurement for ethereum and it's majorly used to calculate gas fees right and um, the correct pronunciation is gui and you know like i said before it is the measurement um for calculating gas fees or it's um a smaller unit of measurement for ethereum that is used majorly in calculating gas fees right so you can still choose to activate dj mode here and then you can head over to manual settings like before on the auto sniper and still run some edits here if you need to right so um after doing this thing right this is basically how to use you know the auto sniper and the manual buyer you can still head over to settings and you know configure things to your taste right then you can head over and check your pending snipes as you can see i have one pending snipe which is the gabu right and then you can choose to cancel all snipes if you want to right you can set up a limit order you can check out banana bonus right so banana bonus as you can see here you earn banana by using the bot for every trade you do through your bot you earn more banana and the minimum claim is five banana right so if you head on back you can check out banana credits you know one bond banana is equal to one credit and you burn banana like this is you burning banana to receive credits right so um you can burn banana here you can activate plus five wallets that's like 9.5 credits per month and yeah banana bonus too you can add a wallet that you know the destination uh, you can add a destination wallet um of your of your your banana right like the banana bonus and obviously i'm choosing my wallet right so after doing all these things and after your sniper has gone through the next thing that you're going to have to do is sell right this is for when you want to sell so this is when you head over to you know the sell bot right here the banana gun sell bot and then you paste the address of the token that you want to sell so when you paste the address of the token that you want to sell once it's there like once the token is um um yeah once the token is you know is there right so once you bought the token it should automatically reflect on the sell bot and you can come to the sell bot and you know sell your token right so here actually you can see that nothing is working because i actually don't have any token like this in my wallet i can't sell what i don't have right so um i hope you guys have fun trying this out yeah i hope you guys have fun trying this out do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video